Damon. Uh, wanted to ask you a little bit about your impressions of the ACC. It's it's unusual that a new head coach in the league has really no connection to the league as a player or a coach previously. And I just wonder what you know what you've thought about the league now that you've been you know uh, about a third of the season through it. Um, you know, I, I, I've been, I've enjoyed being in the league. Number one, I have is, uh, it, you, you're, you're right, Kip is, you know, it's been a different, it's been a different experience for me. Um, you know, but I think that, uh, you know, so far so good, you know, um, the games we play really competitive league, really competitive, you know, really good coaches, um, you know, Played at Duke already. Great atmosphere, really, really good atmosphere. So, um, you know, so far so good. Is is, you know, and and it's it's funny, you know, even the stuff that you you, you just said, um, you know, you I keep up more with the, you know, I keep up more on this side of the country now than I do on the West Coast as well. You know, I mean, I don't keep up as much, um, you know, and then. You know, with 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 there not being a Pac-12 anymore, I don't feel like I'm missing nothing. So um, after this year, that is. So, you know, I'm excited. I mean, I I am. I'm excited. I think the one thing about the one thing I will say uh, that's different for me right now, though, that I'm that I'm still trying to adjust to, is the fact that I haven't coached against a lot of these coaches. Um, I'm still trying. It's one thing to watch them play. It's one thing to play against them. You're trying to figure out style of play on a consistent basis. You know what I mean? You know, it's almost like when you're, you know, when I was in the WCC, I knew what it took to to beat, you know, Randy Bennett. Other than other than the fact, obviously, you got to execute and win. But I, I knew the game plan against a Randy Bennett. I knew, you know. Uh, what to do against Mark, you know, you, you, you know what I mean? And so as I go through the league, that's the one thing that, 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 that I want to, that I obviously want to get better at because you just don't know on a consistent, you don't know what you to expect on a consistent basis. You know, um, the teams that I play so far, I get them, but, but to me, the league is kind of split up in, 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 in halves. And I would say you have, you have, uh, you have half of the teams kind of want to get up and down. You know, they want to, they want not junk the game. That's a bad word, but they want to speed the game up. Let's call it. And then I'll say half of the league, you know, it, it's really execution. Um, you know, it's possessions game. And, um, you know, that's kind of how I see it. Uh, we'll go next to Chad Bishop. Go ahead, Chad. Hey, Damon, uh, we, we talked a lot about finishing. What what goes into that? Is that a learned skill from your guys? Is it something you could do as a staff to, to finish better? Well, I think, you know, we're we're uh we're trying to to learn how to win together. You know, nobody's one one here together. You know, what I mean, we you know, there's been some some success, you know, amongst us, but nobody's one here together. So when you're bringing a group like that in, um, I do feel like there there's some growing pains at times. Um, I think that we're almost there, and I think that there will be some light at the end of the tunnel, and I think that it, it'll happen soon. Um, I am excited about the the way that we've been able to uh, to really compete and kind of hold our own, so to speak. But we have to do it again. We do. We got to do a better job of closing. Um, and I think number one, we got to do a better job of getting stops um, at the end of the games. But then the second piece to that is we got to understand what's a good shot, what's a bad shot, when and when not to, because you can't take the same type of shots and do the same type of things that you did, you know, maybe for the first thirty-six minutes of the game that you that you do the last four. So it's it's, it's got to be a commitment to that. But I do, I you know, I, I, Chad, I think we really close. I, I do. You know, and it, you know we're we we just got to keep plugging away. You know, that's that's the biggest thing. Ted, go ahead with your follow up. What's uh, your scouting report on Clemson tomorrow night? Really physical team, man. You know that's that's the thing that stands out with me. Um, physical um, veterans. They you know they got an older crew. 
And um, we got to be really, we got to be really ready to, to uh, match their physicality. Um, obviously, they got Hall. He's a really good player. Uh, you know, it starts with him. Um, you know, the guards are some of the best in the league. Um, Garak, he, uh, you know, really shoots the ball. You can't, you know, you can't give him too much airspace. Um, and, and, and lately we've had a difficult time of trying to contain guards like that. But um, the physicality of, of the game is, is what stands out with me. I watched them play against North Carolina, and I'm starting to think, man, what I, these little knick-knack calls we be getting in our games. I'm like, I don't know how they calling them, man. I was watching that was, a, that was a, man, that look that that looked like the old NWA. It looked like that, that looked like a it looked like a heavyweight heavyweight uh heavyweight uh wrestling match right there, boy, between you know Hall and and uh, Baycock, you know what I mean. So you know, just just you know, again, what's what stood out in with me on the initial was just, man, the physicality of the game, and we got to match that, you know, uh, in order to be successful on Tuesday evening. Uh, we'll go back to Kip Coons. Yeah, uh, Damon, I uh, wanted to ask you about uh, the match. You mentioned P.J. Hall already. Uh, I'm assuming that uh, you'll, you'll have Dongo on him uh, pretty much a, a lot. What have you liked about his progress uh, as a freshman so far? You know, you know, bai has been really good. I, I like his progress. Um, you know, what a lot of people don't even understand, Bai, he, he didn't even start on his high school team his senior year. So, you know, he's figuring a whole lot of stuff out on the run. Um, but he's done a great job. You know, I think that where he's coming along to me is his offensive game. I think that, you know, he's really improved in that, improved in that area in a short period of time and he'll only get better. Um, so, you know, he, he, you know, the, the one thing about it, what, what I take from him each and every game, each and every practice is he likes to build good days and, you know, he wants to learn. And, you know, I, I have never, since I've been coaching, you know, I, I never had a player ask me this question. And, you know, he, he came to me and he said, Coach, I, I want to watch film with you because I don't know what I don't know how to watch film. I don't know what I'm watching. I need you to show me what I'm actually watching. And, you know, so that that means he's not only good, he's humble, you know, and he wants to be the best. And, you know, that's what I enjoy about him. And that's where I see his progression. The next progression for him, Kip, to me is like, you know, leadership role and, you know, demanding, demanding different things. You know, I, I, you know, even look at the last game, you know, and I say to myself, man, the guy picked up two fouls early and, you know, he still managed to find a way to get 16 and, you know, five or six rebounds. And that's not easy to do, you know what I mean? Just in general, I mean, but those are becoming normal days at the office for him. And, you know, the more he can go through this gauntlet of a league, you know, we got really good bigs and, you know, you go from, Filipowski, you know, on Saturday, then you go to PJ Hall, uh, you know, tomorrow evening, you know, those are two all league guys, you know, guys that are that are probably be in the league as well. So, you know, it's this this is really good on the job training for him. But, you know, up to this point, I, he's held his own and, you know, I'm looking forward to his continued growth. Damon, thank you for the time today. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. See you next week. Yes. All right, that uh, 